Kia ora, Ron Pallo, Leader of Farm Planning at Beef and Lamb New Zealand. Thanks for reviewing this video on using the online action plan. The online action plan is part of a suite of tools available to help document or further document farm plans. To access this, ensure you're logged into our website, then click on my dashboard, then select the Greenhouse Gas Calculator and Action Plan tile. As you work through the Greenhouse Gas Action Plan, please note any personal information that you provide to Beef and Lamb through tools like the Calculator or Action Plan is stored securely and your privacy observed. We will not share any identifiable information. Please see the terms of use and our privacy policy for more information. The first page here provides some useful information on both the calculator and action plan and a link to an example action plan. You may want to have a look at this in advance of documenting your plan to help formulate your thinking in regard to the actions you have or can implement to assist with managing emissions and the risks and opportunities on farm from climate change. At the bottom of the page is the Start the Online Action Plan button. Please click on this. Identifying the risks of climate change and greenhouse gas emissions on farm and to the environment can help to prioritise actions and identify opportunities that will reduce risks. This can help create a more resilient and sustainable farm business. It's also good to record changes already made to manage your greenhouse gas emissions and to make your farm more resilient to climate change impacts. The online action plan is based on a simple text entry form that results in a PDF emailed to the account that you've used to log into our website. Built into the tool is an auto save function which allows users to leave the plan partially completed and return to it at a later time if required or start a new farm plan. Click on the start button to create your greenhouse gas action plan. On the left you'll note the sections of the plan from eco efficiency, methane, through nitrous oxide all the way down to other. Each section then provides nine fields for notes to be entered on the various parts of the action plan, from the specific actions, location and time frame, to the people responsible budget and priority. The final three areas enable evidence to be recorded for actions already completed, as many farms have already implemented actions that help mitigate climate change risks and harness opportunities through improved efficiency. The form is constructed in a manner that follows the climate change chapter, starting with eco-efficiency, then methane, etc. But you can skip through any section as you want and go back to a former section if you realise there's additional information to add or changes to make. More information is also available via the drop-down boxes. This is the same material as in the fact sheet in climate change chapter. There's also additional information through links to the fact sheets. And anywhere you see a green circle, there's additional information there to help you at that time. As an example, let's enter some of the actions that may be in place or planned for your farm. We'll start with eco-efficiency, those system-based approaches to drive profitability and reduce environmental effects. Unlike the paper-based templates that separate planned actions from those already implemented, this online action plan enables both sets of actions to be recorded in the one area and as below, we can date them accordingly. Let's begin by documenting this action plan. It's useful to number actions as you write them, then use the numbers to align actions with their implementation as you work through the plan. For example, the first action I'm going to record is my ongoing focus on productivity, which has helped contribute to increased production without increasing my overall environmental footprint. I've pre-written these to save you time watching me type them in. Next, I need to add in the remaining information regarding implementation of these actions, i.e. where, when, who, cost and priority. And at all times, wherever you see that green eye, there's additional information. The budget is minimal, so we'll go past that field. And the priority for all of these is medium. In regard to evidence of completion, I had some discussions with Beef and Lamb New Zealand Genetics as part of reviewing RAM selection in 2020, so I'll note that. The date completed for the first two is identified at the top, but I'll re-enter this here again for clarity. At each section, the end of each section is the option to move to the next section, skip some sections, or save this draft and return to it at a later point in time. Clicking next takes me directly to the methane section. I won't complete this for you now, instead we'll go 
straight to the other section to review and finalise the action plan. In the interest of time, we'll again scroll through this, coming right to the bottom to see the review button. At this stage, you see what you've recorded in the action plan. And in this example, I've only filled in one section, so that's all I get to review. Outlined in my responses as I've entered them, I can go back to amend any of these as required. If I make amendments, I then need to go back from here through to other, scroll to the end again, review, and then I can conclude the documentation of my Greenhouse Gas Action Plan by choosing the Save an Email box. You should receive an email from Beef and Lamb with a PDF copy of your action plan as you've documented it. We recommend saving a copy in your email on your computer or printing and adding to your printed farm plan. Most importantly, ensure this now becomes part of reviewing ongoing farm planning actions, including documenting progress as actions are implemented. Note a copy is not kept within the website, so make sure you can refer back to your Greenhouse Gas Action Plan as you implement these actions to record them as completed. Returning to the dashboard closes you out of the Action Plan section, takes you back where you started. Check your email for the copy and look in your spam folder if needed. The email contains the text of your Action Plan along with a PDF. Note the PDF includes all of the text headings, even if you haven't filled in details for any sections. Thanks for watching this online example of completing a greenhouse gas action plan. We trust this helps you document your actions in response to a change in climate and ensures your farm is resilient to the risks and ready for the opportunities this presents.